Okay, so today I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of my software, which is Camera Lucidia. So when we start it up, we get a little bit of help. If you don't want to see it again, just check this box. And you can scroll across and read all this available. Okay, the first thing to do is to set the modes. So there's four different modes. Two cameras, which is greyed out on here because I've only got one camera. A uh, camera plus an image, so that means you've got a live webcam view and you can load in a JPEG or a PNG file. Uh, a camera and a pen, so you can draw directly onto the screen, mixed over the top of your webcam view. And an image and a pen. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So first thing I need to do is load an image. And today I'm going to select this picture of a rose. Now it's not quite where I want it, so I'm going to edit the layout of the picture. So to do that, I go to the settings. This is, uh, well, first thing is you've got the settings for the camera, camera 2, and the image. So I'm going to change the image settings. I can change the opacity so it makes it darker. If you make it too dark, your black lines that you're drawing won't show up. So about right there should be okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Move it around the screen with these two pan buttons. So that's about where I want it, so I click OK. And you see up here we've got the ink controls. So today I've got a Wacom tablet attached to the computer and a pen. And I'll um, yeah, draw around the image. So you can see basically it allows you to trace your picture. doing it um, but you can then end up with a freehand image nicely traced from the photograph there we go. So, so you can be as, as neat or as messy as you like if you don't like something out there and you can rub it out you can change the pen thickness change the colour and, and the normal things like that. So if I just do a little bit more. It's starting to get a bit messy now. Okay, almost done. There we go, that's it. And a little slap dash. If you want to ever see what your image looks like, just go back down to the settings and just grab the opacity slider, turn it down, and you'll see the image. If you want to get rid of those grid lines, turn it off there. When you've got something you like, just hit save, and that'll be saved as a JPEG file. Well, thanks for watching today. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some more tutorials and the more complicated ways of doing things.